Today we're going to be making Bokashi brand for our inoculant for our Bokashi compost system. A few things you will need. Here I have a pound of wheat bran that I picked up at the grocery store. It's about 89 cents a pound. It's about the same price at a feed store where you can buy it in large quantities as well. Blackstrap molasses. This bottle is about three bucks. And your EM1 microbial inoculant. This is, sorry about the mirror image there, that's how my computer is shooting it. Uh, you can get this online at Terraganics or Amazon.com has it, depending on where you live. Check the shipping and handling price before you order. It was cheaper on Terraganics, but with shipping and handling it was more. I ordered mine on Amazon because it was cheaper overall. Um, it was had a higher price tag, but the shipping and handling was less. You'll need some dechlorinated water, a measuring cup, measuring spoons, Sharpie for labeling. You've got to check the dates and make sure you had three weeks and stuff. I'm going to be using a bowl to mix in. In larger batches, you might want a five-gallon bucket or a very large grocery bag. I'm going to be fermenting it in a gallon Ziploc. Like I said, in larger cases, larger batches, you might want to just use a five-gallon bucket, something with a good seal on it. Here I have boiling uh, five ounces of the water, and I'm going to do about half a tablespoon of the molasses, dissolve it into the boiling water. Then I'm going to take about 15 ounces of water here and add it to that there to cool it down. Pull that off heat. cold water to my mixing bowl and add my water and dissolved molasses into the mixing bowl as well, get it cooled down. That cools pretty quickly. I'm going to add half a tablespoon of my EM1 to the mix. Another bowl, I'm going to grab the, the bran. I'm going to add liquid until it's just the right consistency. You want it to be wet, but you don't want it too dry. You want it to be able to form a ball without falling apart, but without sticking together. You want it kind of crumbly still.
It's still a little dry. I'm going to add a touch more water to it. The molasses acts as a food source for your bacteria and yeast to feed off of. So that'll keep this thing alive for the two weeks that we have it in the bag. So it's starting to form kind of a ball. You know, it's it's loose, it's kind of crumbly, but it'll it'll ball up. Not too dry, not too wet. So at this stage we put it in the bag, label it, and we wait two weeks. Just gonna rinse my hands real quick over here. And we'll bag it up. about buying it at the grocery store you might find foreign objects in it like cashews yum want to press out all the excess air Because what we're going for is anaerobic. As little oxygen as possible. And seal the deal. date on it and then we wait two weeks it should start to get kind of fuzzy white moldy looking stuff in there that's a good thing after that you dry it out and it's ready to be added to your bucket as an inoculant <laughs>